So we discovered what is now called the mirror mechanism working on the motor system. So the motor system is not something secondary, it's at the core of our being. So Giacomo, you've been called the father of mirror neurons, so can you tell us a bit what mirror neurons are? Mirror neurons are a specific class of neurons which fire both when there is a specific type of visual stimulus and when this visual stimulus correspond to a motor program. So for example, there are mirror neurons which fire when the monkey grasp an object and also when the monkey see grasping an object. And now you will see a mirror neuron. It's the same neuron you can see also on the screen. <laughs> Actually what happens when the mirror neuron fire? They are a kind of transformer. They transform what you see visually into very complex motor schemata. So we know now that when mirror neurons fire, there is an activity not only in the mirror neurons, but there is an activity in many other areas. Can you tell us a bit of what happened when you discovered for the first time, when you noticed for the first time the mirror Unfortunately, nothing dramatic, because when we noticed for the first time, we are convinced it was an artifact, it was simply the monkey was moving. But we spent uh, almost three years of our life to be sure there is no artifacts, that this is true for these areas and not for another area and so on. So it was, so I have not the moment of your account, no, nothing of this type happened. But what were you looking for when you? No, we, are, we were studying the visual responses in the motor system. So when you see an object, you know already how to grasp it. So you have a visual motor transformation. For example, there are neuron, motor neurons, which fire when you grasp in this way, and they fire when you see a small object. There are others which are active when you grasp in this way, and they're active when you show an apple. So that type of transformation we were studying together with other people like Mark Schneider and Mark Larbib. So we have a very nice conceptual framework for this transformation. And then, surprise, there is this strange neuron that nobody predicted. Okay, Giacomo, thank you very much for this interview and thanks a lot for being here. It was very interesting.